All right, so here we're getting ready to start a new full set, and I'm showing you how I do that. So I just file the old set down as far as I can get it without touching the natural nail. Now you see this length is already short, so I don't really need to cut it down. But if the, if the nail was longer, I would have cut it down and then did this step, filing it. So now I just put her in a bowl of acetone, and then I get either hot paper towels or a hot towel, put it over her hand, and I do each hand 10 minutes, so the whole process is about 20 minutes, and then I start pushing off the acrylic until it's all off. Okay, so now I'm just pushing back the cuticles, getting ready to start the new full set. All right, so here I'm going around the sides and the cuticle area with this drill bit. It's for specifically to get around the, the cuticle area and get rid of all that dead skin, and that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm showing you how I'm getting rid of the rough edges on this file because it's a brand new file. So I just get another file and rough it up on the sides. And now I'm just filing right here um, her free edge and then the top of her nail very, very softly. I'm just getting rid of that little bit of acrylic that's left on there and then removing shine very, very light. Okay, we're ready to start this new full set. Here, I, I've already applied her all her tips. I'm just showing you how I do one. She wants a coffin nail shape, so I use a stiletto for that. I put her tip on. I push the sides in with my nail to make sure there's no air bubbles and it's on securely. Then I start blending the tip. I, wanna, I want my foundation to be perfect. So I do blend the tip. I never touch the natural nail at this point. I just touch the tip. Then I go in with my drill bit, and I use that, and you see I'm below the natural nail. I'm just on the tip only, and I'm just blending it in and making sure our foundation is nice and ready to go for the acrylic application. Okay, and here I'm using my cherry alcohol to spray and get her ready and wipe off all the debris of all the dust of the blending. And then I apply my protein bond. All right, so here I am applying the acrylic, and I'm showing you how I do that. So a while back, uh, years ago, I, I would do the nails where I would do one bead, another bead, another bead. And it seemed like it was taking forever, so I wanted, I just came up with my own style, as you know, us nail artists, nail techs, nail designers, we come up with our own style. And I just wanted to get the acrylic on and lay it in a, in a way where I wasn't wasting time and I was putting it, putting it on pretty good to where I didn't have to file afterwards that much. So this is the way I came up with me doing it. I just lay it um, in like one or two beads real quick and it's, it makes the full set a lot faster for me. So this is how I do that.
Alright, so here I'm just basically getting rid of some of the bulk. I just use this drill bit and just go over it around the cuticle area and just go over the whole nail and that's it. So now I'm showing you, then I take the file and I, I'm hand filing to put it into shape. So what I do is I usually start with the right side and then my left side. Well, the right side of the nail, then the left side of the nail. I go underneath and the side. I do underneath and then each side. Then I take the file and I go up and down with it by the free edge to make sure it's real straight. And this is a coffin sh nail shape. So I'm actually tapering it in as, as you see that it's going into like a V. So that's because of the shape of this nail. But I'm going up and down with the file to make sure we have a straight, straight across free edge. And then I go around the nail, the surface of the nail. I do one side and then I do the other side. So then I turn the finger around, and then I start beveling down. I go on the surface of the nail and bevel down, and then I do the whole, the right side, the left side, all over again with the finger face the other way when I turn it around. So every angle is a perfect shape. So then I just buff the nail, and then I dust it off. And then to get ready for our polish application, I spray it with my cherry alcohol and wipe it off. Alright, so here we're using Caption Nail Polish by Young Nails. And um, it's a really pretty blue. Um, the products I use is Young Nails, Harmony, and Crystal Nails. And um, I'm not a polish person. I have to say I like messing with gels and acrylics. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get into polish, so I really like these polishes. Um, they really work like a gel. It's, the consistency is great. I love it. And here I'm using the top coat, the caption top coat. You can use gel. I usually use both. I on on the, if I was going to do a polish application and I wanted it to last longer, I would do gel, um, or you can do the top coat. But I want to show you here. Um, she hit her nail. She made a dent in the polish, and I used the caption top coat, and it really it like blended it in it got it w went away like as if it's a gel if you see right here that's the nail it has a dent in it and I put top coat the caption top coat on it the polished top coat and it gets rid of it so I really liked that a lot too all right so we're finished so um, I'm just showing you both hands. I had one hand already done, and I did this for the video, the other hand. And I just wanted to show you. I, I just would just put some glue, and I just glued the Sororsky crystals on. And that's what I'm going to do to this hand. And end it off with some cuticle oil around her cuticles, like always. Thank you. I hope you guys really liked this design. So let me know what you thought of it. Thank you.